Did you know that the Middle East is home to some of the world's most famous skyscrapers? The Burj Khalifa in Dubai is just one example. But here's an exciting update. Saudi Arabia has plans to construct a jaw-dropping 2-kilometer-tall skyscraper, which is expected to become the tallest building in the world by 2030. These towering marvels aren't just architectural wonders. They also symbolize the ambition and progress of the region, showcasing the remarkable technological and engineering prowess of the Middle East. For the past 13 years, the iconic Burj Khalifa has proudly held the title of the world's tallest tower. However, this record may soon be challenged. In recent developments, Kuwait has revealed plans to surpass all others and build the world's tallest skyscraper. If these plans become a reality, Dubai may no longer hold its record-breaking status. In today's video, we'll delve into everything you need to know about this incredible new skyscraper, set to claim the title of the world's tallest building in the near future. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below. It's the best way to support our channel's growth. Kuwait's Plans Kuwait is one of the world's top 10 crude oil producers and has the fourth largest sovereign wealth fund. Even though Kuwait has a relatively small population of 4.26 million people, it's one of the richest countries in the world when you consider the wealth per person. Just like nearby countries such as Saudi Arabia and Bahrain, Kuwait's economy depends a lot on the price of oil. The leader of Kuwait, known as the Sheik, wants to make the country's economy less dependent on its huge oil and gas reserves. This is similar to what Saudi Arabia has done with large projects like Nayim and NEOM. Kuwait is trying to do the same by diversifying its economy. They're creating a new city, a mega city, that will be like a special economic zone. It's located on the other side of a bay from Kuwait City and will connect the Persian Gulf to Central Asia and Europe. This new mega city is sometimes called Silk City because it reminds people of an old trading route called the Silk Road. The Sheik believes this new city will play an important role in the region. The most eye-catching part of this new mega city is an incredibly designed skyscraper. Introducing the Burj Mubarak, the skyscraper, called Burj Mubarak al kabr will be exactly one kilometer tall, which is 1,001 meters or 3,284 feet. It's going to be located in Silk City and will show how far Kuwait has come and how much it's progressing. Building this super tall tower is going to be quite expensive. It's expected to cost around 25 billion Kuwaiti dinars, which is a massive $82 billion. The construction of this tower is set to start in 2023, and it will take about 25 years to finish. Construction, architecture, and design. The Kuwaiti real estate company, Tanding Group, is working on a billion dollar project. They've got the famous Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava to design the tower. He's known for designing things like the World Trade Center Transportation Hub, the Milwaukee Art Museum, and the City of Arts and Sciences in Spain. The design of this skyscraper is inspired by a type of tower you often see near mosques called a traditional Islamic minaret. Even though the Mubarak al kabr Tower will have a lot of floors, the elevators will need to be double-deckers because it takes up a lot of space. Since the building is incredibly tall, it can be affected by strong winds. To keep it stable, the one-kilometer-tall tower will have three twisting structures that fit together like a puzzle. This helps the tower stay steady even when the wind is blowing at 240 kilometers per hour. Also, there will be vertical fins along the edges of the building to help redirect the wind and reduce noise. The gigantic Burj Mubarak al kabr Tower will be 1,001 meters tall, with a leaning top and 234 floors. It can accommodate about 7,000 people. Interestingly, the height of the tower, 1,001 meters, is a deliberate reference to the famous collection of stories known as 1,001 Arabian Nights. Features and Amenities The new skyscraper will be a big building with lots of different things inside. It's going to have offices, apartments, and places where you can look at the view. There will also be a hotel, stores to shop in, and places to eat. People think it's going to be a popular place for tourists and show how much Kuwait is growing and changing. Besides being really tall, the tower will have seven different areas where you can find hotels, homes, offices, and fun things to do. Inside Silk City 
The Silk City project covers a huge area of 250 square kilometers and will be built in different stages. In this city, there will be a big park in the middle and lots of places for people to live, work, and have fun. It's going to create about 430,000 jobs for people who live there and offer chances for local and foreign investors to do business. The government plans to make room for about 700,000 people in this new mega city. Silk City will be divided into four parts, each with its own center, one for finance, one for leisure and fun, one for nature and the environment, and one for people to live in. They'll make sure the city has good schools and places for art and culture, so it's a great place to live. Silk City will also have cool things like a big area to protect nature, a new airport, and places for businesses, sports, and events. They're even thinking about having a train system, a port, a place to move and store things, and a big sports stadium. All of this will make Kuwait's economy grow a lot. The whole Silk City project is going to cost a lot of money, about $132 billion. They first talked about spending $86 billion on the first part of the project in February 2019. Reasons for Building Silk City The Silk City project is part of a plan called Kuwait Vision 2035. This plan wants to turn Kuwait into a big financial center in the Middle East. As part of this plan, the government is focusing on the development of the northern part of Kuwait. In May 2019, they opened a big bridge called the Chik Jabra Causeway, which is part of the Silk City project's first step. This bridge connects the northern part of Kuwait to Kuwait City. It was one of the biggest and hardest construction projects in the world and cost about $3 billion. When it was finished, it made the drive from northern Kuwait to Kuwait City much shorter. The first part of the Silk City project also includes the Mubarak al Kabr port, which they are still building. This is part of China's Belt and Road Initiative. China is really interested in this project because they get a lot of oil from the Middle East and then would have a close relationship with Kuwait. They made an agreement with Kuwait to help with the project, and a Chinese company is in charge of the first phase. China's Belt and Road Initiative is about making more trade connections and increasing China's political and economic influence. They are especially interested in the Mubarak al Kabir port because it will be one of the closest ports to Central Asia when it's done. Kuwait's Transformation The Silk City project is important for Kuwait because it can help them move away from relying too much on money from selling oil. In 2019, about 90% of the money that came to Kuwait was from selling oil. They're building this city, and it's well on its way, but it might take a few more years before they see all the good things coming from it. With the Burj Mubarak Tower, this project is going to show how amazing buildings can be. It will help keep the Middle East known for having some of the world's coolest and most creative buildings for a long time. What do you think about this big project? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.